hey you waxies welcome back for another video i know it has been a long time since i've recorded it's probably been two months maybe more since i've made a last video i think my last one was a rose girls haul um, i haven't hauled anything since i've been good on my no buy but i do have an empties videos for you guys I have been saving empties for quite some time now. I don't even know how long it's been, but I've been collecting wax empties, household empties, body care empties, just anything that I've been emptying, I've been keeping. So I'm gonna do wax first. And I did leave a bag in my bedroom and it's from that smell good shop. It's called Baby I'm a Star. Love that one forgot to bring it my daughter got my empty pack for me so we're just gonna jump right into it y'all because i don't want this to be a super duper long video here we have lavender fresh from destination wax this is very much lavender 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 like a soapy lavender here we have island breeze it's an odor neutralizer from k wax melts love that one we'll definitely repurchase I would get this one, but in a smaller size. Um, I've had this since 2021. So I've had it for quite some time. Here we have Warm and Cozy from Yankee Candle. Got that at Walmart, really love that one. Um, very warm, very cozy, a tad bit masculine. Here we have Gimme Candy from Scentsy. Love that one, it smells like candy corn. Here we have Watermelon Tangerine from Scentsy. This one's okay. I don't think it's one I would repurchase again. Um, or maybe just kind of every once in a while. I don't think that's one I would ever repurchase again. Here we have Prickly Pear and Agave. I love this when I got it. But I felt the longer that I kept it, the smell didn't change. But my nose did. It's just very salty to me. Here we have another one from Scentsy. This is Ruby Nectarine. I love this one. I love this one for the bathroom. I think this would be a perfect guest bathroom scent. Sorry y'all, I need to adjust. I am sitting on the floor. And I have my legs crossed like I am still 12 years old. <laughs> it's a big no no. Here we have Bewitched. I really, really like this one. Yes, I really like this one. I think I would want this with out the spiced apples though. But it is a really, really nice blend. I love it. Here we have Polar Bear Hug. I hope Sensi brings this one back because I really love this one. It's just so warm. It's not even warm. It's just cozy and inviting. Oh, and clean. I love it. I have a lot of clams. Here we have Daydream Oasis from Sensi. Another really nice bathroom one to me this smells like to me it's kind of reminiscent of like cucumber melon doesn't smell like it but when i smelled it that's what it kind of takes me back to it doesn't smell like cucumber melon though y'all to me this smells like vacation like if you were to walk if you went on an island by the beach and you were to go in the bathroom this is what it would smell like this is another really good um guest bathroom scent especially for um i think it's more springtime i think that one is kind of too hot for a summer day i find that with some blends like if i'm outside all day i want to come home and melt I don't melt certain scents because they tend to be um, 
they tend to be too much like they can make you feel stuffy and for me those are kind of like watery notes salty sea air um, like Greek Island breeze I can't do when it's really hot for me to me it just it makes it feel like it's humid it's just weird <laughs> here we have bubbles from sensationals at Walmart it smells like downy unstoppables I have some bags from Ulta of cotton balls I like the cotton balls from there <coughs> excuse me I don't have much wax empties as I thought I did I feel like I have a bag somewhere else and I don't know where it is but I have two Ulta bags full of stuff <laughs> here we have lemon breeze from Kate and Row. I really really like this one to me it smells like like a clean lemon I want to say it has surreal lemon and thyme in it really like that one we'll definitely repurchase here we have oil of Olay if anybody is ever interested in ordering from Kay's she is having a 25% off sale in August check in the group because I don't want y'all to quote me on the dates um, I did see the post today I haven't bought wax y'all but hey I might just order just a couple clams maybe no more than 10 there are some things that I wanted to restock on oil of Olay is definitely one of them it's very pretty and feminine I think it's great for the bedroom great for the bathroom here we have Candy Crave from Scentsy. I really, really like this one. I just wish it through better. It th it doesn't, for me, it doesn't throw in hot plate warmers. Um, I have to put it in a tea light. But being that Scentsy wax is so soft, I find, I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I find that when I put Scentsy wax in a tea light warmer, it doesn't last as long they have a I feel like Scentsy's wax has a lower melt point than a lot of uh, fender wax so in the tea light it tends to burn off quicker the scent here we have sea salt and avocado this one's okay um, I don't want to say it's okay it's good it's just not for me anymore it's green it's one of those if you're interested in trying I would say go for it because you can't imagine what this smells like until you smell it and it's like okay does it smell like avocado but it is it does have a creaminess to it a creaminess. I don't want to say like a no <clears throat> but it is a creamy blend here we have Johnny Appleseed from Scentsy. I did a lot of Scentsy, you guys. I didn't realize. Classic apple scent. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what's going on with my voice. I have coffee here. <laughs> that I need to drink. Here we have Coastal Sunset. Y'all, when I got this, I loved it. I melted one cube and I was like, oh, this is it. I had the cleaner in it and I loved it. I want to do it again and it just was not my jam anymore. I don't, I'm all about perfumey scents, but this is like, it's too, too much. It's overbearing. And the cleaner, I don't really, I love since these cleaners, but the scent, I don't care for it. Next we have clothesline favorite of mine from Scentsy oh this one smells so good so my consultant Nia said she liked this better than Clean Breeze um I think it's called Clean Breeze or something Breeze and I was like no way like that's my jam I love it she's not getting replaced <laughs> I smelled this one I was like oh okay I 
think I like this one better. The other one smells more like dried clothes. And this one is more like wet clothes. It's, it is strong, but it's not as like pungent in your face. But it's so, so, so good. If you're a clean lover like me, clothesline. Pick it up. Here we have another favorite of mine from Scentsy. Oh, Clementine Cupcake, y'all. It smells like a Clementine Cupcake. You get the buttercream frosting. You get the buttery yellow cupcake. You get the clementine. Oh, this one is so good, y'all. I love it. Palm trees and ocean breeze. This was one when I got it, I did not like. I did not care for it, but I want to say this is my second one. Yes, this is like vacation. So the Daydream Oasis to me was more like vacation bathroom. This is like vacation hotel. Vacation lobby. <laughs> hotel lobby. I love that one. Here we have Clean and Sassy. This is one that I want in a K-cut. In a bag. I love this one. It's a little floral, a little floral. It's kind of like a lot of floral, <laughs> but it's not like rose, gardenia, jasmine. It's just, it's beautiful. It's definitely sassy. You get a little bit of like that, like the depth of the cedar wood and uh, the tarragon. Oh, this smells so good. Get some citrus from Bergamot. I love this one. It's very, very, very pretty. I love it. Here we have shave and a haircut. So I remember grabbing this one because I wanted to see so many vendors like barbershop and shave and a haircut are just different from one another. So I wanted to try hers to see if it was shaving a haircut that I knew it to be, and it is. Yep, love it. Um, to me, shaving a haircut. Um, if y'all ever had the pleasure of watching Sasha Isms on YouTube, um, she's like the OG of vendor wax. She doesn't have a channel anymore, but she describes shaving a haircut as like the cologne scent of like barbershop so it's like it's like the cologne version of barbershop which is pretty much shaving cream i'm gonna move y'all back just a little bit so here we have baccarat rouge 540 i love this y'all this one smells amazing so I don't know what the perfume actually smells like. So I can only go by this. To me, this very much smells like Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande's uh, Cloud Perfume. Yep. Not like... So I think if you were someone who'd never smelled... 540 before and you kind of maybe smelled it in wax or smelled it on someone who was wearing it you probably wouldn't be able to smell the difference between 540 and Ariana's Grande Cloud if the wax smells anything like the perfume there is differences in the cloud and the 540 um, not much to me. Uh, 540 is more complex. It has more depth to it. 540 to me is more sweet. Here we have coconut milk and patchouli. Um, this is from Darcy and David. I got this from Hobby Lobby. And this, you guys, smell amazing. 
I don't I can't say that I get coconut milk I mean I get it like I get the creaminess of the coconut milk but to me I don't get coconut it just smells like patchouli like creamy patchouli it, this one is amazing you guys I wish it through better than what it did um, but I would definitely check out Hobby Lobby, especially when they do their 40 or 50% off on their wax, because they end up being like a dollar 40 and some change for their clams. Here we have Juicy Watermelon from Hayden Row. This smells amazing, you guys. It smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Cocoa Butter Cashmere from Ebony Violets. Love her cocoa butter cashmere to me she hands down has the best cocoa butter cashmere and random wax that i've tried k's being second um i just find ebony violets single oils tend to outdo a lot of vendors i'm not sure what she does with it i'm not sure who her supplier is but even like her Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, which is a BBW Bath and Body Works type, it doesn't have that like, that like powdery, musky note to it that a lot of vendors do. Hers, her single oil types are phenomenal. Here we have white tea and ginger. Y'all, when I tell y'all, it took me forever to melt this. I had this for probably about a year and a half. Because on cold, it was just, it was not it. It was not it for me. And when I melted it, the way that it transformed in that warmer, it was so inviting. It was so comforting. It's one of those when you have company over and you don't know what to melt. Hayden Rose, white tea and ginger will do it. It's just because I find for me, I don't want to melt anything clean when people come over. I feel like it's it, it seems like too much effort is put into it and it smells overly clean. When you have a clean home and you throw clean smelling wax, it just becomes overbearing. Where something like this kind of just smells like your home, you know, it's just kind of people come over and it's like what do you melt in your house or what kind of candles do you use or plugins like your home smells good yeah this one smells amazing if she were to come out with that again i would definitely pick it up here's another one i've had for forever in a day black sea um case sent this to me in my first order which was over two years ago and i had gotten I'm having a brain fart right now. It's something lavender. And she was like, mix the two. They like go hand in hand. And oh, it smells amazing together. Oh, I can't think of what it is. It's something with lavender. Um, if I remember, I will put it in the description box. Black Sea smells amazing on its own it smells exactly how it's described it doesn't smell like a black sea to me <laughs> when i think well when i smell black sea i think of like like a deep deep blue dark ocean it's dark it's lightning it's not like it's almost like it's gonna storm but it's not raining like it's just it smells amazing here we have rainbow melts beach cabana had this one for a long time this was gifted to me uh it smells amazing this is a single oil um oceanside fruit salty notes trickle down a full heart of dewy petals and sheer base of musky woods so i definitely get watery notes definitely very dewy um, it is floral, but the way that the dewy notes tone down the floral is amazing. Love that one. I think I have my last clam. 
which is bonsai from Hayden Row. Some more bonsai I need. Bonsai is very green. Um, so citrus, lime, pine, cedar wood, and a hint of floral. You get it. You get the citrus, you get the lime. I wouldn't say I get pine. To me, it's more like a like a pine salt type of pine. I love this one. Great for the bathroom. If you're frying foods, put it in the kitchen, clear out. Another one, a fresh lemon. Or this is fresh lemon. That was lemon breeze. Fresh lemon smells like fresh lemon. Oh, you guys. It's almost... So it smells like freshly squeezed lemon juice, but also candied at the same time. But it still smells clean. I feel like the can to me the candied note it's more like a like a lemon head candy like a sour lemon head candy type of note and it just tones down like that sourness that a fresh lemon has one more claim <laughs> desert oasis i love this one i want to say this was this is somebody's blend. I want to say this is Danny's blend. Love this one. I want to say this one has um, something salt. I can't think of the name, y'all. I'm having the biggest brain fart right now. Like, I'm not into wax like I was. So trying to remember Himalayan sea salt is what it is. <laughs> That's what I get. But trying to remember, like certain single oils and notes it's like out of my brain all right next we have molten amber i want more of this you guys this is amber goodness oh, oh you guys if y'all love if, if you like amber you're gonna love this one. Oh. To me, it's just, it smells exactly what it says. Molten Amber. Here we have Juicy Fruit from Destination Wax. I love this one. This is another clear out. Um, like a odor neutralizer. To me, this smells like Big Red with Juicy Fruit. <laughs> Big Red Gum and Juicy Fruit Gum. Here we have Baby Powder from K's. I want this one. I want it in a K-cut. I want it in a bag. Straight up baby powder. Her baby powder, it's, it's not powdery. It's like smelling Johnson & Johnson's baby powder. Like after it's been rubbed in on your neck, wherever you rub it in, and like let it sit for 30 minutes and you just get the baby powder note. Yep. Love it. Here we have strawberry bread from 804 Essentials. Um, I do have another empties from 804. is Cotton Breeze. I love it. To me, it smells like uh, clean cotton and soap. I love it. Just finished that one day before yesterday. Another one I finished is I'll Be Jammed from Savannah Blue Wax. I love it. It is just strawberry goodness. I'm kind of remembering things off the top of my head. The strawberry bread is amazing. It's, it smells like fresh bread and fresh strawberry like preserves. Love that one. Here we have a squeaky clean. I love this one. This is my favorite from Kater Row. It's just squeaky clean. Like a bunch of different soaps not laundry soaps like ivory dove just just soaps it's just it smells clean <laughs> goodness next we have gail weathers from vintage chic scents i love this one campfire salt sandalwood toasted marshmallows and smoky vanilla 
So VCS, the owner Kirby is, this is her last year in the wax business. Like so many other vendors have closed. Um, Simo Wax has closed her doors. Bodies Harmony has closed her doors. Um, there is so many other vendors. Um, Sensationals Wax or, oh goodness, I'm like, or, or um, there's one, Centennial Chic, she's closed um, her doors. Um, inspirational or I forget what it's called. Um, I want to say she has Souls Inspiration. That's what it is. The brain fart. It's something serious. Souls Inspiration has closed her doors. I believe she may be only offering customs. Um, but it's one of those whenever you want to order, you just message her. Um, but she's kind of closed her doors for any type of pre-orders or ready to ship. Um, there are so many vendors, you guys, that have closed their doors, and it's, it's so sad to see, um, it's unfortunate, it's a, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, um, but this is one that I want to request before she closes, because this happens to be my all-time favorite blend, um, when it comes to Fall. This is this is it for me. That sandalwood and smoky vanilla and campfire toasted marshmallow. I get it all. It smells amazing. So one more chocolate orchid single oil smells amazing. Definitely bedroom nighttime scent. Very sexy date night. Love this one. Very seducing. Or seductive, I should say. <laughs> Here we have another bag of cotton balls. These ones I get from Dollar General. The studio selection in the pink bag, though, happens to be my favorite. So, this portion of the video is going to be cleaning. Not cleaning, but... Products. Cleaning products, hair products. Sorry, guys. Body products, skincare products. Um, I've just been collecting empties because I've been wanting to do a video, and I've just I haven't known what to do because I'm not calling anything. So, and I melt, but I don't melt enough to do a melting basket. Um, I definitely won't keep to it because I don't, like I said, I don't know often enough to do that. But I, oh, I also have some feminine care, some hygiene products, you guys. I've been like on the hunt for like natural, organic um, pads and liners and things like that. And I found it, you guys. I found it. So loom i have the big one um this one is lavender and sage i don't like this one i don't like this scent it smells like butt i'm being honest <laughs> so Lumi has this note to it and it can very much come off smelling like booty um but once you rub it in, give it a couple minutes, it's gone. When I tell you guys this works, hands down the best aluminum-free deodorant I have ever tried in my life. And I want to say that I've tried them all. I've even tried the men's. Lumi, hands down, has to be my favorite. Native, I like, but native is one that I have to reapply native was also one that i noticed my underarms were getting darker i did not like that i don't have this issue with lumi my favorite i got the bigger size one um it lasts me two and a half months i love it it's worth every bit of 15 dollars, y'all here we have some hair gel um i 
can't find this anywhere. The only time I ever find it is when I go to New York. I have very curly hair. Um, when wet line was like the thing on YouTube, um, everybody and their mama was getting it and buying it. What well, I have hair in here. And then they change their ingredients and it's just, it's not the same. So I like to get the men's one. I only get it when I go to New York because I can't find it here. I used to get it at Walgreens and, and they stopped selling it. So I'm stuck when getting it when I go to New York. So I tend to stock up on it. This was my birthday gift from Sephora. Um, they had the spray and I'm trying to think. Melrose Place. Smells good. Doesn't last long. Detox shampoo is beyond amazing. I have curly hair. It works. Body cleanser. Man. Smells good. I like it. Doesn't lather as much as I would like. I don't think it's worth the price. But that leave-in conditioner, y'all, is a must. I'm going to get the bigger size. I have to have it. Um, if you know anything about hair, my hair is very, very, very porous. Um, naturally I have been doing hair for over 15 years and I think my hair is the poorest hair that I've ever dealt with um, but y'all that leave-in conditioner works wonders for my hair I love it also their curl cream phenomenal phenomenal I love it one I would always buy pricey price tag to it but worth it for me Different gel, Adapalene, 0 0.1. Life changer. Life changer. Um, <laughs> this is um, a retinoid. You guys, when I tell you I can't rave about this, I cannot rave about it more. The way that it, it helped to clear up my acne, and even when I do get hormonal acne, the way that my pimples come to a head it's it's so weird because it's like almost it's weird it's like they come to a head and then it's there and then a couple hours of the next day it's almost like it just dissipated like it's gone there's no marks um i don't have uh pimple scarring after since i've used this but then again, I'm also very religious in using my sunscreen. I use Supergoop. Um, and I love it. This will always be a forever repurchase. I don't use it every day like I used to. Um, now I use it once or twice a week. Um, around the time that I'm going to get my time of the month and probably maybe the week after but in between time i don't use it i don't feel the need to use it i haven't had breakouts like i used to since i've been using it here we have pink beach from saltaire um skin softening serum body wash this was nice um i like it but for the price y'all yes it's 17 fluid ounces but i went through this entirely too quick and i'm not okay with spending ten dollars on body wash that's gone in a week and a half times i'm just yeah i like it it leaves your skin very very soft so the claims that it live up to for sure for sure um what I think I will probably end up doing is, um, because I do want more, so I think I'm going to order order it off the website instead of Target, and I'm going to keep this bottle because it is aluminum, and you can actually order extra pumps. This one broke. I would love to keep it for, like, hand soap, but knowing my children, they will probably cut their hand on that top. So I'm probably gonna order another body wash and just order extra tops and just use it for hand soap in the bathroom. My favorite lotion, Eos, Vanilla Cashmere. Hands down, the best lotion I have ever tried, you guys. 
the not the best lotion that I've tried um I actually found a Coors um body butter when I tell you guys I caught a steal at Marshall's that body butter price is usually $44 I caught it at Marshall's for $7.99 you guys I've never snatched something up so quick I never tried the body butter, but I knew about the brand and for the price and the big size that it was. Let's say it was almost 14 ounces. I snatched it up so quick. And though these, this EOS and that one has to be hands down the best. Try this, you guys. It smells amazing. It definitely is 24 hour moisture, if not longer. I absolutely love it. Here we have some dish soap from Aldi's. If you're on a budget, you're looking something compared to Dawn, next best thing. Really, really good. I want to say I'll have like two or three of those in here. Here we have Dr. Bronner's Bar Soap, the unscented baby one. Favorite um, bar soap. I was using Dow, the deodorant gold bar soap and you guys, I broke out in hives, and then my kids slowly started to break out in hives, and then my partner broke out in hives, and it was, it was no good. Um, I found the issue with the dial was that dial cannot be used every day for us. Dial has to be a once, maybe twice a week, every other week. Um no more than like four times a month type of soap and for me it's just not worth it um if i'm going to use a deodorant soap to help deodorize my body i want to be able to use it every day as like my base soap i couldn't do it this one works amazing um i was just trying to find an alternative something cheaper because that bar soap is almost five dollars for one but it's okay i'm just gonna keep going back to my dr Bronner's. Here we have Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. This is really, really good. Um, I did find it comparable to the, um, y'all, the brain fart that I'm having. It's, it's terrible. It's another skincare brand. They're gray and white. Dermalogica, that's what it is. Um, they're powder like that. I recommend this one. Um, does as good of a job without the high price tag. Here we have Good Molecules Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil. Um, the oil in this is Camellia Seed Oil. And, yep, I'm going to just show y'all. Y'all can look it up because I'm not about to butcher this. This is really good. I love that one. It doesn't leave your face oily. We have another EOS. Um, I actually went through two or three of these ones three of them actually and then we have the coconut waters one the coconut waters is nice for the summertime yep Ooh, I feel like I haven't smelled that in forever um I think I'm gonna get some more of the coconut waters one and I might keep this one because I think there's some still in here but yep <laughs> um trader joe's brazil nut body butter this one um was supposed to be compared to the boom boom cream so de janeiro and i had at the time only smelled it at ulta and i was like oh my gosh they're the same they're not they're comparable yes um but this one has sie um extracts and you get the acai in here you get that fruity note in this yeah i feel like on first sniff you may be like oh yeah but as you keep smelling and the more you use it it's like okay they're comparable but they're not the same but it smells good and i do like it it's very um rich very creamy it goes into the skin really, really well. I do have another one that I am using. Here we have Rihanna's Rebel Perfume. Love this one, hate the bottle. 
um, it becomes a pain in the you know what to spray. Um, I do want to try the one that has the black instead of tan. I do love this one. To me, this is definitely a everyday perfume. Um, doesn't really last long on the skin like some perfume does. Um, I find kind of the only perfume that I've had that like really lasts on my skin has to be a um, Tori. Um, I forget what it's called. I'll put it in the description. Here we have a deep conditioner, curl restoring treatment from no Mono's Hair. She's a YouTuber, hairstylist. She was selling her products in Sally's. That's fine. Um, but she pulled her line um, shortly after COVID. One of the best treatments I've ever used in my life. Sad I can't get it anymore. Um, best facial moisturizer ever. Um, I don't like Ulta for this because they stopped selling <laughs> Kiehl's. Um, Ultra Facial Cream. Um, I started using these at the same time. And the way these two combine just took care of my skin. Phenomenal. Um, I do want to get some more of this off of the website and get the big daddy size because it's absolutely phenomenal. Here we have Dossier's Gourmand White Flowers. I forget what this one is compared to. Um, I want to say this was White Flowers, White Flowers. Um, Flower Bomb. This one smells amazing. I love this one. I have a little bit more left in there. I'm going to use that. Another different gel. That one, uh, this one came in a tube. This one came in that one. Um, what else do we have in here? We have some feminine wipes. I love these ones, fragrance free. They're actually very, um, they're not too wet. They don't have a lot of, they have a good bit of wetness to them. There's not too much to where you wipe and it feels like you have to go in with a paper or with toilet tissue because you're too wet, but it doesn't feel like you're dry wiping with just sandpaper. Dove Cool Moisture. I don't really care for Dove Body, not Dove Body Wash, but Dove's um, Bar Soap. I don't care for. One empty that I do have that I don't have here is the Up and Up brand of Dove. Um, Target's like dupe for Dove. 10 times better than Dove. You guys, trust me on this. I would never stick y'all wrong, especially when it comes to body care. It's three dollars and forty nine cents. To me, the ingredients seem to be better, and it lathers so much better. And the scent, to me, top tier. We have another body wash from Walmart. This is compared to the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Wash. Um, I've never tried the Aveeno one. I've smelled it in store. Did not like it, y'all. It's it's mm -mm. It smells like baby vomit. It's just not for me. This one I love. It smells amazing. I don't want to say it smells clean. Um, because it doesn't smell like. A clean body and clean laundry has two different clean scents. So to me this is more like a clean body scent. You kind of get that like colloidal oatmeal note. This one is amazing. This is another one I will always repurchase. I actually need to get more of that. Here we have Floriental Vanilla. Um, I'm not sure which one this is. Oh, this is YSL Black Opium. Love this one. Um, to me, it's very, very, very comparable to Black Opium. This one does stay on the skin and on your clothes for a long time. Even after I wash laundry, I use um, Persil Laundry Detergent, which is very strong, clean laundry scent. I still smell this on my clothes even after laundry detergent and fabric softener. We have some more cotton balls from Ulta. 
here we have some sunscreen from La Roche Posay. Um, I don't like this. Um, first time I tried it, I loved it, raved about it. And then for some reason, I noticed that it started pilling. Um, maybe it's because of what I use with this. Um, this is a good sunscreen. I'm not going to steal you guys wrong. It is brown girl friendly in every way possible. Um, but this is one where if you like to moisturize with a lotion or whatever you like to moisturize with before your sunblock, this is a no-go. This is for out of the shower and this is what you use for your moisturizer. Next we have um, squalene oil. Don't have the box, have the bottle. This one I love. This one's amazing. I think I like this one better than this one, but I love them both. I would recommend them both highly. Here we have Truly's Blueberry Crush. Um, Chuck Marshall's. I got this from Marshall's for $14.99. I have another bottle I bought from a different Marshall's end up being $16.99, which is fine. Um, I love this oil. Um, now I did, this is, this is why you want to read directions. So it says, um, that you need to follow up with sunscreen after this. And I'm thinking an oil, why would I have to follow up with sunscreen? These have a lot of, this has, um, a lot of acids in it. So there is salicylic acid, there's lactic acid. Um, there's a lot of good acids in this for your skin and, you know, to help exfoliate, you know, turn over some dead cells and things like that. This works really, really, really well. You, um, it also says to use this underneath your moisturizer, which I was doing it backwards and I find reading the directions help because to me it works good both ways but it definitely works better under moisturizer so now for feminine care i feel like i am missing some but i know off the top of my head so this is a big old bag of pads um it's a big bag because it came in a four pack but we have real organic cotton cover pads overnight 40 count i bought these off of amazon they came in a pack of four with 10 each and then these are mine and my daughter's favorite pads of all time um they're organic they last long um i find so one thing and this is probably tmi going into too much but i'm gonna go there anyway a lot of times um if you know you have odor with pads or just during your time of the month change your pads and not so much of course you want to change your pads um every hour and a half to two hours but when I say change your pads, change the brand of your pads. A lot of the times, a lot of these companies, always Kotex, um, Stay Free, they have um, wood pulp in them. They have just have chemicals and bleaching agents and all types of stuff in them. And the way the blood reacts within those chemicals and those ingredients tend to make the blood smell bad. So if you're ever smelling, you feel like you you know, you showered, you change your pad 45 minutes ago, why do you smell? And it's probably not you. It's the blood reacting with the ingredients in the pads. Change your pads. Um, I noticed that when I switched to a menstrual cup, my pads were, my pads, my periods were less. Um, I have very short periods as is. I am two to four days 
um, but I bled less. Um, I have a high pain tolerance, so I don't really get, well, I get cramping. I really don't notice it. It's very tolerable for me. But I noticed a lot of change within my menstrual cycle. Once I started using, excuse me, a menstrual cup and more natural um, menstrual products. So consider changing your your brand of pads that you use. They, al they also have panty liners. And the ones that I bought were the long ones, but they're actually meant for... Um, for leakage like urine leakage because I find that I like longer panty liners but the panty liners marketed in stores are just they're baby they're like tiny I, they're just not for me so um, rail has some ones and I want to say they're for like leakage protection um, for urine they work amazing as panty liners I love them I went on a way too long rant about pads. <laughs> um, but this is the bag that it came in. There's another brand. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. I love them just as much as Rayo. I get them off of Amazon. I will promise to link. If I don't link anything else, I will link those pads. I promise y'all. And for my girls, we have some cotton cover period underwear from Rayel. So I used the one from Always is what I started using and I like them. I really, really do. They're great. Um, I find actually that the Always fit better than the Rayel ones. Um, they're more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. These ones look like a true diaper. Um, but if you don't care how they look, um, go for it. I find that these you can tell you're wearing some type of period pad um, underneath clothing, whereas with the always ones, for me, I can't tell. Um, but I wanted a more natural alternative. These are amazing. I love them. Um, go on Amazon or even go on their website or better yet, right here. Please follow this guideline, y'all. For sizing because the sizing is very 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 much true if you wear a size 14 like a 12 14 get a small medium don't think it's gonna be too big um, I mean don't think it's gonna be too small because the small medium is big the large extra large is more like an extra large extra extra large um, I have these ones for myself um, because I am in that in between um, where if I didn't have any of these I could wear these but they cut into my bikini area so I like to get this size but they work amazing I love them you can't go wrong with them um, yes and that's all I have for empties I have another bag because my girls love to wear these at night um, they're a little pricey so I only let them wear them at nighttime or um, one of my daughters, her time of the month, she's just getting it. So she's very much kind of figuring out pads and things like that. So I let her wear these more often than I would like her to. Um, but that's just because she's getting comfortable, which is fine. But yes, you guys, this is my haul. I'm sorry for the rant. I'm sorry for the long chatting. I'm sorry for the 54 minute video, but it's okay. So thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. I miss you guys. I'm going to catch up on y'all videos, but I will see you actually in the next one. Bye.